of young, thin and predominantly white women and men. But you're about to meet a former model who's trying to break that mould by launching her own fashion show. It's called Ravishing Fashionistas. And today we've got a sneak peek into the glitz and glamour of an event for all. There was a little printing, a little preening, and a whole lot of strutting. These women certainly are ravishing fashionistas. We are advocating women to um, embrace yourself despite of their age, despite of their size, despite of their um, diverse background. Today was the dress rehearsal. The main fashion event is designed to break stereotypes in the industry. You won't see any cookie covers on the catwalk here. And the colour of my skin was all this question that I'm not white enough and I don't have a lot of Indian features. Also, I wasn't skinny enough. The build yourself confidence. When I first started doing modelling, it was because I wanted to say, hey, I'm not your average, I'm not somebody that's a small... And who says grandmas can't be glamorous? I had dreams of doing that when I was 18. Never say never, never give up. <laughs> so out of all these girls, only a handful of them have ever done this before, but you can't really tell by looking at them. One thing they are hoping for, though, is that this event will launch their careers. The designers are hoping to dazzle too. I just want to people to know me better. I gotta represent myself in the designs to bring a little bit of the Latin American feel to Australia. <laughs> and if that's not enough, the ravishing fashionistas are also raising money for the National Breast Cancer Network. What better reason to strut their stuff? Amanda Hart for 10 News First.